we need to set a new standard for keto food. This is a keto pretzel that you have never had. Hello, welcome to my keto kitchen. I'm Victoria and today we're going to set a new standard for keto pretzels. We're gonna do that by using my self-rising keto flour. This flour is gluten-free. This is extremely easy, very delicious, very similar to the rise with the cinnamon rolls. So let's get started. All we need first is half of a cup of 110 degrees water. We need two and one quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, and we need one teaspoon of table sugar. So in the water, first I'm going to pour the table sugar. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Then I'm going to add the two and one quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. I'm going to pour this into my bowl. I'm going to cover it and we will come back in about 10 minutes once it's bloomed and looking really good for us. Okay, it's time to take the cover off of the yeast. It's bloomed, it's beautiful. Now we're gonna get started on the dough. This is so, so easy. We only need five cups of my self-rising flour. We need some pretzel salt, half of a teaspoon of regular salt, and one cup of warm water. That, that's it, that's all we need from here. First thing I'm going to put in is I'm going to put the salt into the warm water just to get the salt dissolved. Next, I am actually going to put all of the flour on top of the yeast, and then I'm going to put all of the water on top of the flour. This is five cups of self-rising flour, which is 500 grams of flour. I'm going to put the beater attachment on before I pour the water. When I turn this on, I'm going to pour the water, but I'm not gonna pour it too slowly. I like my dough to be sticky. This does not seem very sticky. So actually, I'm going to grab another one quarter cup of water and I'm gonna warm it up and I'm gonna pour it in. Okay, I've warmed up one quarter cup of water. I'm gonna pour this in, get it blended once again. That is better. You always want a slightly sticky dough. Even when you're dealing with a regular white flour, that stickiness of the dough causes you to have a more moist outcome. And so you always want it to be a little bit sticky. Okay, now we are going to take the flour, put it in a nice ball on a silicone mat. Okay, I have taken my rings off and I have slightly greased my fingers. All right, so let's see about how many pretzels we're gonna get. I was thinking four, that's what I was thinking. I'm gonna cut this in half, then I'm going to cut it in half again, and each piece I am going to roll into a pretzel. Thank you, sugar for letting me know you're in here. Okay, we have this on a silicone mat, we've cut it in four pieces. Now let's roll it out into like a string or a rope. Ooh, it rolls beautifully. I love, I love my flour, if I do say so myself. It might be beneficial if we also spray the mat with a non-stick spray. I am definitely not the best at rolling this. Eventually, we'll get this done. That's a crisscross, right? Crisscross them. Crisscross them twice. Let's do it. That looks good. Okay. One done. Okay, this is pretzel number one. I'm going to lift it, set it over here. Let's try this again. I'm going to spray.
Okay, so this actually is not that difficult. You just roll it out by pressing, putting slight pressure on it. When it comes apart a little bit, just squeeze it back. Get it, I would say, about 18-ish inches long. So I recommend you might want the, it, the tips to be a little bit more thin. Pick it up, crisscross it a few twice, and then lay it down on itself and then just kind of play with it till you get it the way you want it to look. Okay, I really wanted to do a close-up so you could see. See how this is open? All you have to do is just pinch it. You can go around, pinch wherever it's come open. Okay, make it look however you want. And right here, I have about a tablespoon of pretzel salt. Use as much as you want, decorate, do however you like to do it. I'm just gonna put it on, but I'm also gonna kind of Press it in. I don't want it to fall off. Okay, in the description box will of course be the ingredients that you need. I'm also going to put in there the original amount of water that I was going to use plus the one quarter of a cup. It is very dry around here right now. And if you live in a southern state where you have a lot of humidity, don't do the extra one quarter of a cup of water. Hold off on it unless you see that you need it, okay? Because it's just incredibly dry here right now, so you don't wanna flood your flour. Adding a little bit of time is way better. So in the description box is the recipe with the original water and then a little bit added if you need it. So 30 minutes in the proofer and then we'll be back. Look how gorgeous. Oh my word. Do you see this? These are huge. Wow. Um, I'm going to put these in the oven at 400 degrees for 16 minutes. And I cannot wait to see what they taste like because they smell delicious. Oh, if they come apart any, if you've got some pieces that look like they've come apart, just squish them back together. Not a big deal. So I will be back in about 16 minutes. Oh my word, have you ever seen a keto pretzel that you think might over impress you? They smell delicious, they look beautiful, and now we have to taste these things. It's almost too much to take in. Check this thing out. Oh my word, this is beautiful. What's really cool about the way these turned out, this one, fully together. Um, this one right here came unattached right at this spot. It told me exactly why, and I wanna share it with you in case this happens to you. Make sure that your dough is moist, okay? When you're rolling it together, if you're not getting a little bit of a sticky tackiness, it needs more water. But this one's absolutely perfect. Beautiful all the way around. It's stiff like a pretzel should be, right? A lot of keto pretzels, you make them and they're like, they just fall over. No, pretzels are supposed to be kind of hard. They're supposed to be stiff. They're supposed to be kind of crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. That's what we have. I mean, look how much this thing weighs and I'm just holding it by the corner and it's not moving. Like, it's not bending. Perfect. This is a month of a lot of football. So that will mean a lot of parties and a ton of appetizers. And if you're doing the keto diet, I know that you kind of dread the parties because it's hard to turn everything down. Well, if you're throwing the party, you can make these. If you're not throwing the party, you can take these with you. Look at this keto pretzel. This has yeast in it, it has risen, it is a stiff pretzel. If you need something to take with you that will keep you from craving all the things around you, you need a keto pretzel. There's no cheese, there's no egg whites, there's no vital wheat gluten, nothing crazy. This is keto flour that will actually rise, taste delicious, and be exactly what your expectation was when you started, but you didn't know how awful keto could be because of all the other recipes and flour options. Okay, we're going to taste this. It smells so good in here. So, I'm gonna tear it apart, let's see. Oh yes, oh yes. I have to rip this, I have to tear this apart and show you. Mm. 
Let's see what the inside looks like. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. I've got me a piece right here. I have some keto cheese dip. Let's try it. I mean, if it tastes half as good as it smells, it's going to be amazing. Oh. Mm. It tastes like a pretzel. It tastes like a pretzel. Oh my word. So here's the new standard for keto. Let's not say it tastes good or it tastes great. Let's just say it tastes like what it is. This tastes like a pretzel. Okay, the salt is amazing. The outside is crisp. The inside is soft. This is a pretzel. Okay. Mm. What does it taste like? It tastes like a pretzel. Thank you for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, please. If you make this, give me your opinion. Tell me what you think. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you around weekly. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays. And you have a blessed day. Take this to a football party. Yes. Have a blessed day.